Hello guys, it is Futon here, and today we're going to be bringing you a quick guide over what relics are worth owning for the sake of PVM. Um, I have been listening to a lot of feedback and removed the previous video because it seemingly was not effective enough for letting you guys know. Um, I have whittled out the um, conservation of energy, and I have put persistent rage to the very end because it is just a very niche relic, very useful for only one boss in particular, which is the only reason I'm going to mention it going with this. However, the main relic powers is you should be having these two relic powers powers right here death ward which is five percent damage reduction when your life points are below fifty percent ten percent when they are below twenty five percent that one should always be active and fury to small all adrenaline gaining basic abilities generate plus one percent which is basically every basic besides of sigils now the other slot will be taken up by one or two or um, relics depending on what you are actually doing the primary one that most people use is berserker's fury deal 5.5 percent damage all styles the lower your current life point is below max and um, now note that another one that will be used a lot is Heightened Senses. This is used for some melee rotations and quite a few Hydrox Bolt rotations. Um, personally, since I use Hydrox Bolts out the rear, this is what I'm now using. Um, besides that, the last one that has an honorable mention, but not really worth your time if you don't care about it. But Persistent Rage, which is just adrenaline, will not drain outside combat, no matter if you lobby anything. Um, as a note, this brew doesn't increase your DPM, this doesn't uh, help you live longer, it's just a quality of life, and the only real place that it's been used is rots because of the tunnels and just, um, yeah, that's about all we're going to say. You can swap that out with Death Ward if you so choose, but those are the relics that are worth owning, and now we're going to get into the portion of the video where I go over where to get said relics. Okay guys, so for the first relic for Berserker's Fury that we're going to discuss here, um, to get this relic, you need to go to this archaeology person, Sir Acha, and turn in Ceridominus 1. When you do that, it will give you a lock of hair, which you can love quick with an amulet of Forsaken in your inventory, that will combine for the Darox relic piece, Memento, that you can go ahead and turn into the monolith to unlock the Berserker's Fury. Okay guys, for the Fury of the Small Relic, um, the, we're going to go ahead and have to do this in two parts. First off, you need a Thermoshin Battle Standard Artifact that is fully restored, and you'll need to walk through this doorway up here, which is currently, for me, blocked because I've already done it. Uh, once you walk through there, it will give you a red, goblin, red hate hand cave painting, which is the first half of this. So, one second, I'll show you guys where to get the other half. Okay guys, in order to get the second part of this relic, you want to go ahead and come down to the south part here, which you can see is at the very south end of the tunnel, with, um, you want to be having the Gorgas Khan Anchor, fully restored artifact, and walk through this tunnel. When it you do, it will give you the Green Skull Cave Painting. Now what you do is you left click one of those two artifacts, the green skull or the red hand, and combine them. When they combine them, they'll give you the goblin war paints, and then you take that artifact to the monolith to unlock the heroic power of Fury of the Small. Okay guys, here's on to the third relic, which is of the best in SWAT standard, which is Death Ward. For Death Ward, you want to be coming up to Armados Tower, but you want to be having an, a fully repaired Avian Sea Dreamcoat in your inventory. Now, make a note for this. You cannot be in the middle of Cilicia's in-game. The quest needs to be completed, or the quest needs to not even be started at all. That will cause Armadol to appear here, and then you have to talk to Armadol and give him the dream coat, and he'll give you the Ring of Solomon item, which could be used to unlock the relic power of Death Ward. Okay, guys, the fourth relic we're going to be going over how to get is Heightened Senses. Now, note for Heightened Senses, you need to have completed the entire Everlight Mysteries in order to get it. With that, you need a Cathos Cup artifact, and you need to be going straight up to the Everlight. Luckily, if you've completed this up to the point, we'll be going ahead. You literally use the cup and take the Everlight. Um, note that's actually required for the mystery itself and to actually complete this dig site. Upon doing so, you could take that item, which would be a cup of nectar, back to the monolith and convert it into the artifact Heightened Senses. This is, in fact, the easiest of all these relics to get. 
Okay, guys, here will be the last of all the relics we're discussing that involve PVM and will be of some great help for you, uh, which is the Persistent Rage Relic. In order to get this relic, the you will need two Hellfire Qatar artifacts, which require 90 archaeology, and you need to complete the entire mysteries of the Infernal Source. As you see here, I'm down at the bottom right here. You talk to him, you give them to the... Um, this demon here and he'll give you the rings of Roselli. I pronounced that and butchered it probably. You take that back to the monolith and that will unlock the persistent rage relic. Okay guys, hopefully that was helpful with explaining where each of the relics worth owning is. And again, once you get the actual relics, you go ahead and offer relic here. And then it'll add it to the monolith um, interface where you can go ahead and activate, deactivate at your heart's leisure. Hopefully this was helpful to you and I will see you guys for the next one.